Okay, in this very short video, I want to show you how to use your Casio calculator to do regression. So we will find the correl sample correlation coefficient R and we will find the regression coefficients uh, B0 and B1. Uh, in your calcul in this calculator, uh, B0 and B1 are um, denoted A and B. Uh, okay, so when we get to them, I will remind you. So the thing is, the first thing you need to do is you go to mode and you need to choose statistics. So this is number three. So you'll put three. And from here, you want the linear regression, which is number two. So you press two. And now you have to enter your X and Y values. So uh, what I will do is I will enter all the X's first and then all the Y's. The example that I want to do is the, if you remember, it's Lernoud's example, the one that had the, um, the number of hours spent studying for the final. Those will be the X's and uh, the Y's will be uh, the numeric grades on the final. So uh, let me start. So the first uh, one was two, then you put equal. So you enter two already for X. So you do all the X's better. You can go like this and do the Y for each X. Maybe some people prefer to do that, but I'll leave it to you. Once you have the table in front of you, you can choose what you want to do. So two, then seven, then six, then three, then 1.5, then um, 8.5, then 9, then 11, then 5, and finally 4. So, okay, so uh, to make sure that you did it correctly, remember there were 10 data pairs, so just make sure that you go from 1 to 10 in the X's, and now you start entering the Y's. Remember the Y's were the grades. And so the first one was 23, then you put equal to get to the second one, then 71, then 63, then 28, then 20, then 82, then 93, then 100, then 57, and finally 42. So right now you have entered all the X's and the Y's in the table here. Good. So what do you do next? Press AC. So go back to this screen. And now if you want to get, we will do R first. So press Shift then one you see on top of one you have stat slash distribution so press it and then you want regression number five so you put five and now it's asking you do you want a b r or x hat y hat we don't want x hat and y hat only a b and r but because we compute r first the sample correlation coefficient it's telling you just press three so you'll press, uh, press three and equal. You need to put equal. You see there is a zero here, forget it. It's just when you put equal, you'll get the R. So you see it's 0 0.9912 and so on. Uh, if you remember in the video, I took up to, the, uh, to four digits after the decimal. Good, so now AC. Now we want A and B, the regression coefficients. So I will do shift one again. And again, regression number five. So I'll do five. And now I want A. Uh, remember that this A, we also called it B0 in, uh, in the YouTube video. And that is the Y-intercept of the regression line. So to get it, you press one and then equal. So you see, 6.20 and so on. But remember, I took only the first two digits after the decimal. And for... Um, for the last thing, for B1, uh, you will go again to regression, 5, and then you want B. So you press 2, 
and then equal sign. And remember, this B is the slope, and we called it B1 in the video. So now you're getting the answer 9.0. And of course, uh, 6, 9 in the video, I did 7. So because I did to two digits, it was 9.07. Okay, great. So that's it. That's how you use your Casio calculator to find the equation of the regression line. And of course, before that, you find the sample correlation coefficient R. Uh, please uh, use this calculator now to do the other examples that I solved in the YouTube video and answer all of Lernoud's multiple choice questions that have tables. Now you understand how to do it, so please do it and take care.